before I start off, I do want to mention that I'm a very proud Catholic Shreve alumna, but that alumna magic did not work tonight. The Trojans definitely dominated home per usual. They pulled out a very close one, 51 to 48. So now they are officially moving on to their third quarterfinals in program history, the first since moving into 5A. Nothing like top dog 5A ball. Number six, Ash, hosting number 11, Captain Tree. Halfway through the first, Kendall Coleman and the Gators are hanging behind. You get it? Hanging. Okay, anyways, showing behind 11-7. Next play into the second quarter, they let the right one open. Eric Speed backs it in from the outside, and now the Trojans playing catch up by one, 17-16. On to the third, Latrell Holly sets the screen and finds his way inside and drops the jumper. Now into the fourth, Ash pushing for a comeback, and Noah Jonker letting it fly from the corner. Fly like an eagle. A few moments later, Desmond McQueen grabs the foul, and that bench gets rowdy, and the gym goes wild, and the Trojans move on to host another homer against West Monroe this Friday. It, it, it was a dogfight, the whole game, uh, and especially the way it was refereed. Both of their bigs uh, fouled out their two best players. We had uh, four of our starters with four fouls and two wind up fouling out. So it was really a collective effort uh, by our, all our guys. Uh, and everybody made big plays. We made it just enough plays at the end to beat them. Uh, we're thankful for our crowd. I think got us over the hump. A little hesitant in the first half. The coach told me to come out and just shoot them in the second half. And they were going in. We came together as a team. We had a bunch of people come off the bench play really good for us, so we played as a team, that's how we came back.